Well, good morning, my friends, and welcome to another Wednesday morning with John O'Leary. It's an early morning, coming to you live from LaGuardia Airport, one of the maybe not busiest airports in the country, but certainly one of the most congested. Yesterday, though, I was not in LaGuardia, but instead in White Plains, New York. It's a community about 45 minutes north of here. There, uh, up there, was a safety function held for school-age kids, first grade, second grade, third, fourth, and fifth graders. It's my second time being there. I'm really excited about it. Really had a blast two years in a row, but this time on year two, I was a little concerned because a bunch of the kids were there the year before. They heard a whole bunch of the things we had, and I was wondering how much they might remember, what they may remember about my story, what stories they wanted to hear instead or in addition to. And so I'm planning all this up, sitting there this morning, getting ready to deliver this presentation. The first kid walks in. First kid comes over to me. He gives me a big hug. He says, I remember you, Mr. John, from last year. You were burned on 98% of your body. He remembered everything that my brother Jim did to, for me. He remembered everything that my sister did for me the morning I was burned. He remembers the community. He remembers the, even the question Jack Buck asked. This kid was in fourth grade, meaning last year he was only a third grader. 365 days later, he still remembered that story, still remembered what it meant for him, and still remembered what the specific takeaway was, which was to own your life, to be intentional, to stop living accidentally, and to start choosing to be a hero for others. So I'm on fire. This kid gives me a hug. He leaves me. I am lit up, ready to, to deliver the safety presentation. We deliver this thing. We light up a couple hundred school-age kids, sweating afterwards, going to the cafeteria, signing a couple bracelets, giving a couple hugs. And then a little girl with bright brown eyes walks over to me. She shakes my hand. Then she pulls back, realizing that my hand is very different than hers. She says, what happened to your hand? And I explained to her, even though she just heard it 30 minutes earlier, I explained to her that I had been in a house fire. And she crosses her arm, she looks back at me and she says, oh my gosh, we had a speaker this morning who was involved in a fire and you should meet him. My friends, children and life have a way of keeping us humble. Pride leads us toward thinking that everything in life is about us, that we are all that and at least one bag of chips. Humility, life, experiencing, experiencing it, awakens us to realize that we're not all that, that this day is a gift. And the best that we can do is to live into it with everything we have today, tomorrow, and always. My friends, this is John O'Leary with a simple reminder today. Sometimes you're going to receive this from a second grade girl with beautiful brown eyes, other times from your boss, other times from traffic, other times from strangers. This is your day to stay on fire, not only with possibility, but with humility. Thank you for tuning in this time, and until next time, live inspired.